Filipino pop star was released automatically from his 16-year sentence in February after sexually abusing three schoolgirls. But Glitter, real name Paul Gad, was hauled back behind bars just one month later after breaching his licensing conditions. The 79-year-old could now be set free again following a parole hearing on January 24. Caroline Corby, the chair of the Parole Board of England and Wales, confirmed the hearing would be held behind closed doors. It usually takes 14 days for a parole decision to be made, meaning Glitter could be back roaming the streets in just weeks. The decision to grant him a hearing was slammed by solicitor Richard Scorer, who ACTS for one of Glitter's victims. He said previously, my client wants him locked up for as long as possible and I hope the parole board will take a common sense view, put public safety first and ensure he stays behind bars. Anything else would be madness. Glitter preyed on his young victims during the height of his fame in the 1970s. He was first jailed in 1999 after a sickening cache of child abuse images was found on his laptop. Glitter later hid in Cuba where he fathered a love child with a Udenia Sosa Martinez before moving to Cambodia. But Glitter was deported for suspected child abuse in 2002 and next settled in Vietnam. The predator was caged again in the country in 2006 for abusing two girls aged 11 and 12. Glitter returned to the UK in 2015 after travelling between countries notorious for sex tourism. The extent of his crimes was revealed years later when he became the first person to be arrested under Operation Utri, the investigation launched in the wake of the Jimmy Savile scandal. Glitter was locked up for 16 years in 2015 for historic sex attacks on three young girls but was released midway through the sentence. He was returned to prison for breaching his license after The Sun on Sunday revealed he was allegedly viewing videos of children.